Welcome back everybody. Some of you have reached out. You send me your questions asking how to get back into skateboarding or how to get started with skateboarding uh, while you're on a budget, which I completely, completely, completely understand. We've all been there. It's not like uh, we all have a money tree growing in the backyard, at least not anymore. Mine got knocked down by Hurricane Charlie. Now I'm poor. So hopefully this video can help you find that perfect skateboard without breaking the bank. So when it comes to buying anything skateboarding, I will always, always, always suggest going to your local skate shop. And I can almost hear some of you already saying, Tony, we just go online and find all the deals that kids crave and blah, blah, blah. But unless you know what you're getting, that deal online may not be as good of a deal as you think. Going to your local skate shop has lots of perks. Not only are you going to be helping a local business, but you're also going to be getting the experience of being surrounded by something you're into. You're going to be able to feel, touch, see the product before you buy. And most importantly, you're going to be getting the knowledge from the staff who do this every day. And trust me, they know what they're doing. So today I'm going to take you down to my local skate shop, Galactic G in Orlando. They're going to help us out, put together a setup that is going to be kind to your wallet and is going to keep you motivated to go skate. Unlike these cheap garbage things they sell online and at the box stores, please don't go to Walmart and buy a skateboard. What are you doing? Don't. All right, so I'm here at Galactic G Skate Shop. We're gonna go find Davin. He's gonna help us out, put together a good setup that is not gonna break your pocket. Let's go find him. Hey, what's going on, man? What's up? Uh... How you doing? Awesome. Yeah. Hey, so um, I'm low on cash, and I need something good. What do you recommend? Well, I mean, there's just a couple different options, you know. And if you're trying to go for a whole setup, we definitely got some stuff that'll help out. Um, but we can just pull some items aside and then we'll uh, price it out and see yeah, where we're at. Yeah, let's go check it out. You can always come over here to our Galactic G Corner and you can pick up a shop deck from us for 35 bones, which isn't real bad. Yeah. This is Canadian maple, so it's real strong, real sturdy, got good shapes, nice concave, definitely gonna last here. Yeah, I've, I've ridden a lot of these and I, I can attest, these things are good. Next thing, of course, you're gonna need are trucks. There's hollows, there's Pro models and all kinds of other things you can do. Or, again, if you're on a budget, which a lot of skaters are, you can come over here and pick up some really cool, sturdy, mini logo trucks. Maybe not something you're used to in the beginning, but 20 bucks a piece, you can't beat that. Especially when you're paying almost five to six dollars more on the other guys. Good set of trucks right there on the mini logos. Again, mini logo providing a really nice bearing for Ten dollars and fifty cents. That's amazing. That's crazy. That is. They're sturdy. They're reliable. They're not the quickest things on the planet, but they're definitely not the slowest. So, you know, might be pushing a little extra harder, but hey, at least you're pushing, right? Spitfire cheap shots. Again, eleven bucks for these. Another good set of bearings that you could use. Got a great bearing to have. Speaking of Spitfire, what do we got for wheels? Wheels. Nowadays, most wheels uh, go almost near forty dollars, especially if you go with the Spitfire Formula Four stuff. Great wheels, but you know, again, you're strapped for cash, you don't have a lot of money. So you come and you look down a little lower, and we've got mini logo wheels that come in a lot of different sizes 51 through 56, white or black, A cut, C cut, you know, or classic cut, depending on what you're looking for. We got it in here. Again, 2095, not bad for a set of wheels. We've got some really cool, just blank wheels down here, classic cut, 52 millimeter, $18. Can't beat that price. That's it. 18 bucks. So we'll go ahead and just pick up some of the 53s. 18 dollar wheels here. What size wheels are you riding right now? I'm a 54. 54. So cool. I'm, I'm like a 50 a, right now. Yeah, They're probably 48 by the 90s style. <laughs> Almost got everything together. Now the only thing you need is grip tape and hardware. The hardware, again, super cheap. Doesn't need to be anything super crazy. Surprisingly enough, the independent hard thrasher hardware. Is only two dollars and fifty cents. Wow, that's a steal. Do a cool little sticker. That's a solid deal. Two yeah. fifty. But if that's a little too satanic for you, not up your alley. <laughs> I totally understand. And you just go over here. And yeah, this is a family shorties. channel. Kick it with the classic shorties. Four bucks. A 
but they're gonna hold Phillips head, inch, solid stuff. It's usually what I use. Again, Mini Lego steps in there and has a grip tape too. We're not just doing boards anymore. Four dollars and fifty cents for a sheet of grip. Yeah, that's really cool. The cool thing about Mini Lego too is that it's a little longer and it's a little wider. So, you know, you got a lot more to play with there. But solid deal. So So even if you have like one of those reissue old school boards, like that should be plenty. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So yeah, that's even right. if you get like an old school shape, you know. It's wide, like 10 inch. Yeah. It just still works. And again, it's grippy. It's going to keep you on the board. It's exactly what you need. So, for a complete skateboard with all this stuff, you're looking at 118.19. That's not bad, you know, considering you're getting a solid setup. Everything's going to last you at least for a little while so you can get some more money together and get the stuff you yeah, want. You're, you're, I mean, you're not going to outgrow this setup and feel like you need to buy something new. Right. Down exactly. 118 bucks, nothing, nothing compared to what it could be. So, yeah. awesome. I, this is something I would totally skate. I think that's a really good deal. Yeah. So, so what about if I just want to come in here and I'm, I'm in a hurry and I just want to see uh, if you have anything so ready? Every now and then on the rarest occasions, we do have completes that we build out of old boards that have been sitting here for a while. And so we'll build those up and then we'll put them on the rack over here. For a hundred bones, you got yourself a complete. How much? A hundred dollars. And it's a toy machine board. It's a well-known company, been around a long time. You know, again, we put the mini logo trucks on there. We put some, you know, just price point wheels, some bearings, and for a hundred dollars, you got yourself a good, reliable skateboard you can actually learn and ride on. It's great. You could just buy this thing a hundred bucks, get on the street and just go. And just go. That's it. Now we need some shoes. Yeah, so you know, your kit might be a little messed up and you might need some stuff to replace it. That's okay, you can come here. I would definitely got you hooked up. I got $40 shoes down here. It's a mixed mash of everything, like Adidas. I got some New Balance S, some Lakai's, even some diamond footwear shoes. I got a lot of Nike shoes. $40 in the box, or some bands too, which I have a lot of as well. Say some of your stuff's messed up, like your shirts, you got holes in them. Of course it happens, you're skating. You know, my pants, they got a hole in them right now. So I can come right here, look through this rack, buy one, get one free, or 30% off one thing. Now that's a solid deal considering what a lot of this stuff can cost. Now some pants, like, can be $80. That's crazy money. And that's not something I'm just gonna have lying around if I'm on a budget, right? So I just come over here, look through these pants. I got some shorts. 25 bucks a pair. Can't beat that. So we're talking for about $150 or so, $160. You can you can walk away with a brand new setup that's gonna last and with a brand new pair of shoes that's gonna last. I mean that you, you can't you can't. I mean, no, you can't beat that. I mean when you consider what most other sports would cost just to get involved in the beginning of it, you know, but here you can do it all for under two hundred dollars. Sounds good to me. Hey man. Easy to Thank you so you much. Um, we're gonna go skate right now. You and I need to go yeah, skate yeah, sometime. Yeah. Yeah, trust me. So <laughs> that's another thing that you get from the skate shop, man. You get to build these relationships, and uh, it's just good people. There you have it. Uh, skateboarding on a budget. So now that we did that, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of skating in and get some footage. Booge. Forty dollar pairs of shoes. <laughs> So that's it for this week. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you're trying to buy a solid setup, uh, but you're on a budget, now you know you can do it while still supporting a local business. I apologize for not having that much skate footage this week. Uh, the heat has been unbearable. I also took a pretty nasty fall uh, and I can take a hint. So we'll try it again next week. I wanna give special thanks to the folks at Galactic G Skate Shop in Orlando. Uh, those guys are great. If you're in the Central Florida area, go visit them. Uh, tell them I sent you. I don't think that'll 
get you anything but they will take care of you so just go out there and support them other than that if you like what you're seeing if you like the channel uh, please remember to subscribe and most importantly remember to stay young peace this is the video where I figured out how to put links to my other videos I think